We are working breaking news out of the capital city where one person is dead after being struck by a garbage truck. It happened just a few hours ago on Hartford Avenue and Wayland Road. Eyewitness News reporter Erica Ritchie is live in Providence now with the breaking details. While the garbage truck was just towed away within the last 10 minutes, it is now evidence in the crash it was involved in this afternoon that killed a woman. It happened just behind me here at the intersection of Bodell Avenue and Hartford Avenue here in Providence. Providence police saying it was around 1.40 this afternoon. The call came into their department regarding a 51-year-old woman who was crossing the street over there, headed toward the high rise across the street, when at the same time, the garbage truck was taking a left from Bodell Avenue onto Hartford Avenue and the two collided. The woman, we're told, was later pronounced dead at Rhode Island Hospital. Now, as of right now, the scene has just cleared. The woman's family is being notified, and so until that happens, her name is being withheld uh, from us. Residents of the high rise I was speaking with this afternoon tell me they saw the aftermath. One man even shooting video of the aftermath. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we're going to hear from that man as he gives us some insight into the woman he called a friend. Now, in the meantime, we have reached out to the garbage truck company, Mega Disposal, to see if they had any comment about what happened this afternoon. But so far, we haven't heard back from them right now. We don't believe that any charges are being filed against the driver. Of course, we're going to remain on scene and continue to search for answers. We'll bring you the very latest in another live update coming up at 6 o'clock on Eyewitness News. For now, live in Providence, Erica Ritchie, Eyewitness News. But first at 6, we're busy with two breaking news stories we first brought you at 5, beginning with a deadly crash involving a garbage truck in Providence. Eyewitness News reporter Erica Ritchie has been gathering information at the scene. She joins us now live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom with the very latest. Erica. Mike and Julianne, this stretch of Hartford Avenue here in Providence just reopened within the last hour. It had been shut down since about 1.40 this afternoon when somehow the garbage truck collided with the woman at this intersection behind me. While investigators worked at the intersection of Hartford and Bodell Avenue in Providence to figure out how this garbage truck hit and killed a 51-year-old woman, we spent time talking with a man who says he's her neighbor. I know her for a long time. She's been living here for at least no more than five years. Roberto Vega says he and the victim live in the same high-rise across the street from where the accident occurred. Very nice lady. Providence police have not released the woman's name since her family has not yet been notified, but Vega is confident he knows the woman since he saw the aftermath. Here it is. Here's the video. He shot it on his phone, but it's too graphic for us to air. Other video will be critical, though, for police to determine where the woman was when the truck took a left from Bodell onto Hartford Ave. Was she crossing in the crosswalk? It's uh, We don't know right now. We're going to be reviewing some video from the surveillance video that's on the, um, the housing projects. Now, as for the driver, Providence Police have not yet said if he's facing any charges. I did reach out to the company he works for, Mega Disposal, out of Seekong, but so far none of my calls have been returned. We'll continue to stay up on top of the story and bring you any updates tonight on Eyewitness News at 10 o'clock over on Fox Providence. That's very latest right now, live in Providence. Erica Ritchie, Eyewitness News.